but school starts in 30 minutes! <sighs> How's everybody feeling about our test? Even after our all-night study session, I still don't know the difference between vaporization and sublimation. Reckon this test is gonna be an abomination. I can't believe we all fell asleep halfway through our first all-nighter. Not all of us! While you chumps were studying all night, guess who was coming up with the plan? You call that a plan? Uh, come on! Do I have to spell it out for you? It's snowing. Snow day means no school. No school means no test! Uh. It's hardly snowing, Rainbow Dash. Come on, guys! You are seriously lacking vision! I've got 20-20 vision, and I can clearly see it's not snowing enough for school to be canceled. <sighs> Too bad it's not a snow day. It's not a snow day yet. If we can save a sinking cruise ship and break the laws of time and space to see a concert, I'm pretty sure we can convince Principal Celestia to call a snow day. There's a lot of innocent kids out there who probably didn't study, and they're depending on us. So, what do you say? Who's with me? I don't know. Huh? Huh? Hmm, I guess. Yeah! <laughs>
I'll admit, we really did pull together as a team. A blizzard? Quite an unforeseen development, I'd say. Indeed. Shall we cancel school? Hmm. She's making the call! Don't bother with the snow day, it's phony baloney. Hope those girls enjoy detention after their test. What's what are they on? doing? You guys, I'm trying to see. Ahem. <clears throat> What have we been doing for the past two hours? All part of the plan. What better way to study than a hands-on project? Oh, I get it. This test relates to our snow day. Which means... Potatoes get mashed, then evaporate into potato moisture where they converge into potato clouds. And when those clouds can't hold the weight, that's where the potato flakes come from. Where is the potato chips? Am I missing something? <laughs> <laughs> It's looking great, Pinkie Pie. Apple, blue, big mat, chestnut, magnifico, chumbly, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. Palm three, flash, sentry, flutterside, Grace, Daisy, Juniper, Montage, Lily Pad, Lila, Heartstrings, Mod Pie, <gasps> Muffins, a but Pinkie, you forgot to set the timer. Sakura, Zephyr Breeze, Zipper Will. Done. I stopped using the timer after I realized the souffle takes the same amount of time as saying all my friends' names in ABC order. You're friends with someone named Chumbly Bonk Bonk. Walk by, what's up, acquaintance? But I need an extra half a second on the list. Mm hmm. So what's this for? This is a holiday tradition I have with Rarity. Every year, I surprise her with a dessert that's as elegant as she is. And every year, she asks me why it's all deflated. What? Souffles are only good for a little while, and I never get it to her in time. We have seven minutes to get to Rarity's house before this souffle crumples into a soggy yuck bucket. Seven minutes? How many friends' names is that? How do I know? Give me that timer, woman! Pinkie Pie and I aren't in the game. What game? 
biggest hairs war! Nobody calls tickle fruit too silly. Rarity is getting that souffle, and you're gonna get it to her. Last sentry, to me, double time. <laughs> Reporting for duty. And seriously, thank you, Sunset. Cause like, I've been wanting to come on one of your adventures for so long. Cause I mean, you guys do so much cool stuff and I- Flash. I promise I won't mess this opportunity up. Whatever, stop talking. Are you ready? I was born, are you? Ready. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Go on without me. I'll be fine. to your family's holiday party. Would you say the Apple Family Annual Holiday Harvest and Cider Making Fest is more of a mulling fest or a chilling fest? Don't you fret. It's always a blast. Well, aside from when the Flim Flam brothers make their appearance, hmm? they make it a tradition to swindle my family at the Harvest and Cider Making Party. One year, they took all our letters in the middle of the party. to improvise. Another year, they de-bottomed our baskets. Last 
last year, they gave Apple Bloom a pet worm. Wigglesworth and all his friends ate up every last apple we had. <sighs> That's horrible. And to think bow ties used to be a symbol of integrity that only cool people wore. Oh, honey, you're thinking of bolo ties. Anyway, this year we're setting traps for those no good flim flam brothers. If they try anything slippery, then things are gonna get sticky. Applejack, I promise if you let me come up with a plan, we can out bamboozle those bamboozlers. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Yes! Party ain't much fun without Satter. Huh. You sure this is the best way to fool the Flim Flam brothers? It is, in fact, the only way. I triple checked my game theory matrix. Those no good grifters are gonna offer a fake diamond for the party's eponymous cider. We'll play along, and by the time they figure out we sold them pepper and salt water, we'll be celebrating our victory with the real cider, which is hidden in here. I hope you're right. Trust me. Greetings, salutations! No tricks this year. Cross our hearts of gold. Speaking of gold, how would you feel about selling us your cider? For the generous sum of, let's say, gold! Oh, this genuine real life diamond! Y'all come back next year, you hear? Twilight was one step ahead of them from start to finish. Let the real Apple Family Annual Holiday Harvest and Cider Making Fest begin! Whoa. Uh Where's the real cider? Did they take the real cider? <gasps> oh, man! That ain't fair! They must have known about the switcheroo and double reverse switcherooed us right back. Unless I knew they'd double back and take the real cider using a series of tunnels I dug, knowing they'd find them and use them, ensuring that when they emerged right outside the front door, they get trapped in a net. Did you do that? You tell me. Nope. Uh... Looking for this? Nobody outsmarts the Flim Flam Brothers. Oh, thanks for the cider. Time to go. See you next year. Oh, and one more thing. Enjoy your pepper water. Hey!
guess this party's over. Actually, it never got started. No wonder Scootaloo was so quiet. But who, how, how'd you? These clocks are all wrong. The real party doesn't start for another 20 minutes. Mmm, delicious. You didn't switch the cider, did you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Surprise me once, shame on you. Surprise me twice, shame on me. Surprise me three times, the poor surprise is gonna be on you. <laughs> You're the surprise one. <laughs> wow, I, I don't know what to say. How about cheers? <laughs> <laughs> Winter break. I have hot cocoa, and we're about to bring a giant wagon of toys to little kids. <gasps> this is the best day ever! Is that a marshmallow? Oh! <laughs> Today just got better! Oh. <laughs> Mighty kind of you to let us keep all these toys in your storage locker, Sunset. I didn't have the space after Granny Smith converted our barn into a hot yoga studio. No biggie. Nice to finally use this darn thing. I've been paying monthly and I never use it. What is it, a gym membership? <laughs> Let's just open the locker. Yeah, good idea, Twilight. You know, the Toys for Kids Festival is gonna start soon, so just open the lock with the key. Pinky? Oh, I gave the key to Rainbow Dash. I gave it to Fluttershy. And I entrusted it to Chad. Do you have it, Chad? Ooh. Oh, right, the key. I put it in a charming little bag and I gave it to you. Yeah, and I left it in my locker. Oh, no worries. We'll just run down to the school, get the key, and we're back in business. Uh, school's closed. <laughs> <sighs> Like I said, school's closed for winter break. Well, this won't do at all. Without the key, there's no toys. And that means those adorable children at the Toys for Kids Festival are going to open empty boxes. Oh, that's worse than clothes. Excuse me? Not on my watch. I have a plan. The school doors might be locked. But the air vents aren't. Fortunately, the hallway has a motion sensor security system, which we'll have to hack into and disable. That's where Twilight comes in. Once we're in, we'll need a distraction so the janitor doesn't see us. <laughs> the key and we're out. Any questions? A few. You do know that you're describing breaking and entering, right? Well, and Fluttershy is friends with animals, sure. She's not gonna use them to attack our janitor. Not attack, exactly. And finally, climbing through a vent is dangerous and if a young person saw us doing it, they might try to imitate it and get hurt. Then I guess it's game over. Except game not over, because ch, ch check out my awesome plan! Here's what I'm thinking. First, we bake a dozen pistachio cream cupcakes. Then, we leave them outside Principal Celestia's office to lure her out. Thank you. 
once she's out, and while the door is still open, I'll use my licorice whip lasso to catch the door handle. What are those for? To eat, silly! After all this heisting, we're gonna be hungry. Any questions? Actually, yeah. So how are we supposed to bake two dozen cupcakes before the Toys for Kids Festival? Hmm? Uh, and I don't think a licorice lasso is a real thing. It could be. And once again, this is trespassing. Come on, someone has to have a plan that's not a crime. <sighs> We got powers. I'm sick of not using our powers. I want to use our powers. Fine. Why don't you plan the heist? Hmm. Again, for letting us come and get Sunset's key, Principal Celestia. Of course, Twilight. You know that all you had to do was knock. Thank you. to go cash in some gift cards. Yeah! 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 Twilight, where's that bag I gave you? I left it at school. But I got an idea. We carpooled. Uh, really gotta start checking my texts. Why didn't you just run to the mall? Uh, <laughs> I learned the hard way that high velocity and icy sidewalks don't mix well. Now that we're all here, who wants to go first? For what? What are we doing? The secret present switcheroo! That's today? Remember, we pulled names from Applejack's boot when she forgot her hat? You mean my lucky boot. Um... Didn't get that text either, huh? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, uh, I did. Um, I just have to go to the bathroom. Sorry! I forgot! I can't believe I forgot to get Fluttershy a present! How am I supposed to find a present in the next five minutes? Oh, yeah! I'm at the mall! This is 
is where presents are born. I won't let you down, Fluttershy. A line? Uh, an even longer line? Really? Come on! <laughs> Please no line. Please no line. Please no line. What is with them all being so crowded on the holidays? Some of us have five minutes shopping to do! Oh. Need to cut the line? Yes, I would do anything! Undo! It's been less than three seconds! Doesn't count what I said! Rainbow Dash, it's all good, Miss Awesome. Come on in to Trend of the Line. You're home for everything from Wi Fi shoelaces to, uh, regular shoes and smaller shoes. Ah, uh, how's it go again? Come on into your home for everything from Wi-Fi shoelaces to uh, just plain old regular shoes and... Uh, how's it go again? You work here? <laughs> Not for long if I can't remember our slogan, but yeah. Since we're buddies, I'll let you jump the line. Uh, thanks, but I don't know if buddies is exactly the word I'd use. No, you gotta be nice, but only because you love Fluttershy. Fluttershy? Follow me, my lady. This is so Fluttershy. A high-tech basketball hoop. Ooh, it yells at you to get good when you miss a three-pointer. So you're always motivated to reach your athletic performance goals. Uh, I want that, but no, I don't think Fluttershy would. Cool, I knew you'd love it. No, 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 I'm not here for me. I need a gift for Fluttershy. Got it. How about these? Ah! Ooh, they look expensive. They are. And when you wear them, it takes everything you see and turns it into an urban landscape. Even forests with cute animals? Absolutely non-existent when you're wearing these bad boys. Uh, nah. I don't think Fluttershy would like that. Right, right, right. My bad, my bad. One sec. <laughs> oh, you Rainbow Dash. <laughs> How about this? What's that? It's for high-fiving when you're really far away. Or when you're really short. Like, eh, or like, uh, or like maybe, eh. Oh, come on. Ooh. You know? What? That's not a gift. That's not for anybody. Who would want this? <laughs> oh, this thing rules! Snails is gonna love it! These are your suggestions. Do you even know Fluttershy? Whom? Your sister! I know, I know. I, I was joking. Sorry. Look, I know a gift that will make Fluttershy super happy. I I'll grab it for you now. <sighs> Here it is. She'll love it. Instant camera. Around this time last year, Fluttershy's favorite instant camera broke. She really wanted another one. Get someone something they'd never get themselves. Trust me. Huh. That's actually a great idea. <laughs> Thanks, Zephyr. You're amazing. Right on. <laughs> And who got Fluttershy? Standing here the whole time. Here you go, Fluttershy. <gasps> An instant camera? I love it. You do? It's perfect for fun, candid photos. Zephyr got one for me last year after my first one broke. He did? Oh, I should have known. I'm sorry. Now that I have two, I can finally do two angle instant photo bear cup candies. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Dash.
got ye the same thing that I got you? Hey, guys! Hi, hi. <laughs> you, you, you crying, Snail? No! Friendship means never having to say hi, guys! Ready for a new holiday tradition? Technically, it's not a tradition if it's new. Tradition implies something that's been done before and never expects it. And how do y'all feel about starting a holiday tradition? Uh, sounds cool. I'm in. Ooh, fabulous. Words matter, people. Every year for the Apple Harvest Festival, my family sends a theme photo to our friends. This is when we were pioneers. This year, we were the forest. And last year, we all pretended to be ghosts. Uh, there's no one in this picture. Because you can't see ghosts, Twilight. Sheesh. Indeed. We're all familiar with your yearly cards. I was thinking we could all get gussied up and do a holiday photo to send out to the whole school. Oh! Good goody! Oh, man, AJ, I would love to, but I have a, a thing. You know, right now, uh, with Hoops Dunkington. You know, Hoops from Crystal Prep. We're gonna get sandwiches. <laughs> You're so funny. Bring him along. He can take the picture. Oh, man. He just canceled. We just got to figure out what we're all wearing. I could design it. No! no! Remember when you made us be the quadratic equation for Halloween? I didn't mind that costume. Because you got to be a plus or minus. I could barely function. <gasps> Wait. Was that a math pun? Ugh, you're ruining me. Ah, don't be such a square. I already decided on the theme. A cornucopia! You know, them goat horn-shaped basket thingies overflowing with flowers, fruit, and corn? <laughs> it's the symbol of the Apple Harvest Festival! I'll take the lead on wardrobe. What? Unexpected. Really? Simply tell us the location of the photo, and we will be there. <laughs> well, this is the best news ever. Thanks, y'all. I'll get the auditorium ready for the shoot. See you guys this afternoon. Hmm. Rarity, are you okay? I think you just offered to do something that you don't really want to do. No, Sunset. Unfortunately, I offered to do something I have to do. As a good, generous friend, I have to save Applejack's photo shoot. I also have the best taste of anyone involved. Yep. Knew there was another reason. I know not what a goat horn shaped basket thing. A uh, cornucopia? is. But I can guarantee that I will make us the most fabulous version of that, that thing that I can. <gasps> really? Are you okay? What do you need? Take me to the drama department's costume room. Time is running out! appointments this afternoon. What are you doing, Sunset? Trying to get any appointment I can for this afternoon. But my dentist, doctor, dermatologist, podiatrist, and guitar teacher are all booked. You have a podiatrist? I can't be in this picture, Twilight. We're gonna look silly. Yes, Sunset. Yes, we are. But we're going to be the most fashionable kind of silly there is. As Applejack's friends, it's the least we can do. For friendship. <sighs> Our friendship. I would just like to point out that the quadratic formula was better than this. Yeah, well, I'm feeling 
a little husky, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Sorry if that joke was corny, but it's all I have right now! Oh, I like my outfit. I'm a bunch of grapes. Let's just get to the auditorium before anyone sees us. So now that we're a laughing stock. Did someone say stock? Uh, let's just get to the picture. Nothing to lose. Oh, looks great, photo finish. What is this? Well, we told you we would do this photo shoot of dressing up and whatnot, Applejack. And we put ourselves through quite the ordeal to get here amidst laughter and judgment. But it's because we're your friends. And we respect your family traditions. So if we have to look like corn and squash and... And grapes, then we're willing to do it. We love you, friend. <laughs> what? Granny Smith is the one that made us dress up. I was just saying we should take a picture with a cornucopia set behind us. <laughs> Should've known when you said wardrobe. Ah, <laughs> uh, how we could change. But it would be a shame to waste the ensemble I made for you. <laughs> Wishing y'all a happy holiday. From our cornucopia to yours. Love, Applejack. Sunset Shimmer. Rainbow Dash. Fluttershy. Gravity, Pinkie Pie, and Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Did y'all find a way to sleep through that drum circle carrying on all night? Last one of us. Hey, where's Sunset? Oh, I bet she's already up and dressed and holding a stage front spot. <sighs> oh, she's not doing that at all. That all night was more all nightier than she thought. Five more minutes, Princess Celestia. I don't want to go to magic school. Oh, boy. If we don't wake her up and get her brain defogged, she'll sleep through all the fun stuff. <gasps> fun stuff's her favorite stuff! I got an idea. I do two. I do three. Bones, sun's up ahead, which means we're already behind. Can't have a pancake breakfast without a fire pit. Say what now? It's just common sense. What's the point of camping out if you ain't cooking out? Now, hook two. <sighs> Whew. Have you been uh, doing stuff like this every morning? Of course. What? <laughs> Did you think room service came around setting up our campsite for the day? I mean, I wouldn't put it past Rarity to bring a private chef. She did fill the mini fridge with sushi and parfaits. And who do you think was rolling all that sushi? <laughs> Big Mac always says, nothing starts the day off like a little bit of hard work. 
He does? Yep. Well, not in so many words. You think your body can handle waking up Rainbow Dance style? Do your sunset? Cause guess what? <sighs> You're right. <laughs> you know, when you said we'd start the day with a workout, I thought it'd be way harder. No way! We're taking it nice and easy. <sighs> okay. Let's start with a downward dog. Transition to cat pose. Now coil snake. A trade llama. Inverse badger. The undulating parakeet. The stranded turtle. Confused lemur. Tech savvy donkey. Horse on a bike. <sighs> Not cut out for posing like animals doing things. Oh, come on. If you'd stayed in bed, you'd have missed this. Missed what? The music doesn't start for another hour. Whoa. Sunset meet sunrise. <sighs> Here's a pose. How about Grateful Friend? Sunset, I'm so excited. This will be the best breakfast ever! Are you sure these are the best things to eat first thing in the morning? Mm. Oh, of course not. We need a balanced breakfast. Snowball sprinkle cupcake waffles, jelly bean beignets, and don't forget the sugar cookie croissants. Ooh. I'm still pretty tired. Give it five minutes. My stomach. I can't! <laughs> I am a golden dog! Let's never sleep ever again! <laughs> or sunset! Sugar crash. Nobody should try to keep up with Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Not even Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Is her surprise? I think she wants us to come on stage. Oh, I get it. We are the interactive. Yep. Wanna play?
やる。If it's raining cats and dogs, get yourself some fishing hogs. Yes, that's quite whimsical, but perhaps I'm missing some poetic nuance that explains why we are mucking about in a mud puddle. It means you gotta look for the silver lining, like how mud perfect for finding <laughs> fishing bait. <laughs> Mud's also great for camouflage when you need to sneak up on a pig real quiet like. Why ever would? One need to sneak up on a pig. If you have to ask, you don't want to know. And I'm only talking about mud on your hands, arms, neck, and face. Oh, this mud mask is excellent for the poor. Thanks, Applejack. Huh? Guess there's a silver lining for everyone. You sure you don't want to go worming? Entirely. You know this doesn't really fix her problem. But she looks so happy. For the last three weeks, I've been brainstorming equipment to engineer in the statistically probable case of inclement weather, including but not limited to a raincoat with a water collection system, a self-drying umbrella, and detachable windshield wipers for eyeglasses. Fabulous. Which ones did you make? None. I only brought garbage bags to help clean up. Do you not care about helping me? Wait, highlight. Trash bags! You are a genius! I am? No, we're a genius. Plus, look, main ponchos with fringe. Nothing yet, darling. Thank goodness you picked up. My clothes are drenched. My mascara is running. And look at my jacket. Forget your jacket. Look at your hair. <gasps> I love it. You, you do. I mean. Of course you hashtag rain hair don't care. It appears working for me had a lasting effect on your taste. Trend setter. Rain hair don't care is a trend. I mean, yes, of course, that's what I do. <laughs> Hello? Hmm. Hey, I hope this works. Oh, darlings, consider this a good lesson learned. I have truly grown as a person, embracing this catastrophe to discover an inner truth, namely the... Must find hair dryer!
I'll head back. No reason you gotta miss the upfrontness on account of me. Well, we aren't letting you miss Dirk Thistleweed and be all alone. Yeah, it's against the Fun Times Festival Friends partner pal Credo to go off without an accountability buddy. Aw, y'all are the best. Hmm, who should I ask to come with me? tweak my hammy during round robin semis. Sounds like sports words. <sighs> so this bomb, or is it a salve? Let's just call it a cream. This goop will fix anything. Then boom, Dirk Thistleweed, here we go. Uh, uh, are you sure about this? It smells like bad milk or good cheese. I'd know the smell of cure-all ointment anywhere. Dirk. Thistleweed? I lost my voice and I'm supposed to be on stage right about now. You don't mind if I slather my singing parts? Oh, uh, slather away. I just told Dirk Thistleweed to slather away. Mm, burns so good. Sometimes what you're searching for is in the last place you look. It could be in a medical tent. You never know. I'm Dirk Thistleweed. That's my real name. This is the best view of any concert ever. Aw, oh, did you lose your voice too? Thanks for hanging with me, Pinky. I'm sure we'll find some other way to see Dirk Thistleweed someday. Wait a minute. Today is someday! I'm gonna make sure you still get to see Dirk Thistleweed. Boy, that crazy plan that's crazy like a fox. And it's so fox that it might just work. Come on, crazy! <laughs> oh, right. Bad foot. Can't run. Got it! Pinky, uh, it's, it's not a big deal. We can just go back down the hill. No! You are saying Dirk is a way! Oh my gravy! This is amazing! Pinkie Pie, you're the best! Don't you think? Picking me when both your real friends offered to be with you? You look so lonely without snails. Hmm. That name means nothing to me. <gasps> I don't get it. I told him I lost my earplugs and then he just abandoned me. Well, at least we have each other. It just stinks not to have a friend around, you know? I'm saying... I'm all alone. I'm literally right next to you. Just me, myself, and... <clears throat> You want to be my new best friend? I'm not sure if I... Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I understand. <sighs> All right. I'll be your best friend. Snaps! You came back! What do you mean, Snaps? I've been looking everywhere for you. Dirk Thistleweed? You guys know Snails? <laughs> He's the funniest fella I ever done met. Uh, do the thing. Do the thing! <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, considering y'all's friends with the greatest artistic genius of our generation, why don't y'all join me backstage? Never leave me alone again! Still right here. <laughs> 